said before. Hey, what's up? We're Escape. And come check us out. What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video. All right, so we are going to speak on the lawsuit and everything that is going on with Escape. And you guys know that it was a lot of stuff going on that they had spoke on on The Breakfast Club. And, you know, they kind of addressed the Latasha Scott lawsuit, okay? Um, we're not going to listen to that clipping because, of course, this is someone else's content, but we can play the video, okay? So, y'all, Escape mentioned in their interview with The Breakfast Club that ex-member Latasha Scott filed a lawsuit against them, okay? And in my opinion, a little shade was thrown. But they did speak on how they currently don't have a personal relationship with Latasha. Uh, they also state that they don't have her number, nor do they speak with her. And they said that the lawsuit was basically a scare tactic from Latasha Scott. That didn't work. I more so think it was from that husband, but hey... It is what it is. So Charlemagne asked them if they felt any guilt being on the road. And Tamika Scott stated when you're and Tamika Scott is Latasha Scott's sister, for those of you guys who do not know. Um, but after Charlemagne answered their question, Tamika Scott stated, when you're not in the wrong, you don't feel guilt. OK, so to me, this is definitely a difficult situation. Um, in my opinion, you can look at Latasha and tell that she holds grudges. But I feel she is mad at her sister Tamika for putting out that, you know, Latasha allegedly stole her money and just a bunch of other things that were put out. OK, so y'all know it was a lot of BS with that. OK, receipts were pulled out and all. OK, so hopefully they can get things situated for the fans but it was a lot to see you know the sister kind of play dumb like what what money i didn't steal no money from you and it was even more heartbreaking for the mother to just be like oh well what are you talking about that's not true so i do understand um where the sister tamika is coming from you guys i do understand that um Escape is such an iconic group, and it's so sad when you have a group of so many women that are very talented, um, that are very, uh, you know, beautiful women, and they can't come together. And again, like when you're wrong, you're just wrong. But for those of y'all who know about Escape, you know about Escape. A lot of us um, were young children sang in Escape, okay? And um, it's just very unfortunate that the ladies cannot have, um, you know, Latasha there with them going on tour. And I just don't understand why Latasha would want to miss out on an experience like that. I mean, it's been years since they've been together. You know what I mean? And it just would have been so great that they could have, you know been together on stage right and we have now now don't get me wrong we have seen a few instances where the girls have gotten together and you know they've done little little things together or whatnot so um you know but again they made it very clear that it was for a check so i'm not gonna lie i'm disappointed and then my thing was latasha has such a beautiful voice and she you know she did go ahead and record her gospel album and stuff like that i'm not quite sure how it went um, I heard it didn't go just really too great, but I'm still wishing good things for Latasha as well. But I just think the case with Latasha is when you kind of let a man um, take over, you know, take over your career and, you know, take over, you know, how you do things and how you run things. And let's just be honest, her husband has been caught in so many scandals, allegedly, and he's been allegedly cheating and allegedly being caught with this woman and that woman and stuff. And I just, me personally, I would never want to sit up there and um, miss out on an opportunity to, you know, be on tour and be on. I, I, I just wouldn't want to miss out on that. Um, everybody does not have that luxury. And, you know, everybody can't sing like Latasha and the girls can. Mind you, I'm not going to lie. Latasha, in my opinion, I'm not going to lie. She was my favorite singer in the group. She was one of the ones I'm just like, girl, you can blow. OK, but all of the girls had beautiful voices. I just think that Latasha a lot of the time did outshine the girls. But again, let's be real. Candy has a beautiful voice, Tamika and Tiny. 
You know what I mean? They all have a very, very beautiful voice. So this group together was just a match made in heaven, I feel. But again, you can't make people work together. You can't make people love each other. And your dang gonna sure can't make a person apologize. But girl, they have so much history and they was just so talented. I really hate to see the demise of this group. You know what I mean? Um, so hopefully, again, they can get things situated and they can kind of come to a fair ground. But it seems like, y'all, so many things have been going on that there is no turning back. You know what I mean? It just seems like they've been through so much drama and 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 and, and bad stuff. And, girl, it just seemed like they just can't get over, you know, that hump and stuff. And then, again, like I said, I do feel like Latasha husband got a lot to do with it. You know, the girls was even saying he always had to be involved in stuff and he always tried to, you know, put his 10 cents, 2 cents, 5 cents, 50 cents in everything, you know, and the girls did make an opinion too as well. And they did say that Latasha kind of was bullying them and this, that, and the third. So, you know, it, 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 it just seemed like it was a lot of stuff going on. Okay. But, um, everybody was really hoping that they could pull it together for their fans. You know what I'm saying? And the fans really wanted to see that. But again, you can't make nobody work with you. You can't make nobody get on no stage and you just, you just can't make people do it, okay? And girl, look at Tiny. Girl, Tiny was just so beautiful back then. I hate that Tiny got all that surgery. Girl, look how beautiful Tiny was. Tiny was just so pretty and got all that surgery and stuff. And it's a lot of women in this world that got surgery. Baby, half y'all don't even need it. Y'all some pretty gals and I don't know, baby, but I, I just hate that Tiny got all that surgery because Tiny is beautiful now. Don't get me wrong. She's a beautiful girl. She's beautiful. Tiny have always been beautiful for me, uh, to me, but I really just wish that she would have left her, her face and, you know, everything alone because she just was so pretty back in the days. You know what I mean? But, um, girl, y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that they will get back together? And I'm gonna tell y'all some too. I do feel like Latasha Lowkey has some guilt. I do feel that. I feel like she probably does miss Escape and she probably does miss them. I'm not gonna, this is just my humble opinion. I really just feel like, you know, in my opinion, um, that the husband just he has a hand in all of that. You know what I'm saying? It seems like she can't really, in my humble opinion, it seems like she can't really just think without him being around. And it's like, he really doesn't, you know, allow her to think when he's around, he looks like he's the one, you know, that's always making the decision. stuff. So again, he's her manager. Okay. He's her manager. And he decides what he decides what goes on with her this day and the third, but baby, Latasha, I'm going to just say this baby, as much as he treated you like a dirty dick dog, baby, I would have just told him he had to go about, about his business. All right. He just has really been just doing the most out here. And again, like all these lawsuits and I believe that he's behind all of that mess because that girl ain't never, you know, from what we know, she's never really filed a lawsuit against these girls. But again, like they say, I guess from what they were saying in recent interviews and on the show and things like that, they were saying that, you know, it was a little bit of beef, I guess, before uh, the husband came in with Latasha and this, that, and the third. Um, so they said it was a little bit of, you know, stuff going on, but I, I don't know, y'all. It was Some fights was going on. I guess Candy and somebody else had a fight. Child forgot which one Candy had a fight with. Was it Tiny or was it? Girl, I don't even remember. But their albums have just been so phenomenal and they're so talented. You you just haven't. It's just a group like this. They 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 really were one of the best uh, uh, R&B girl groups of all time. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just happy to have experienced uh, that generation. Y'all don't mind my phone. I'm just happy to have experienced that generation of music, okay? So anyway, you guys, let me go ahead and answer this phone call. You guys go ahead and um, catch me in the next live. My name is Cutie TV. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>